I just had such a good dip in the river. I just had such a good dip in the river. I'm on my way home now. I'm doing this intro at the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, we're gonna flash back to the beginning of the day now. Such a good day. Well, ups and downs, but it ended up being really good. So I'm really happy. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, commence the video. Let's go back to this morning. This is a fail adventure and it makes me angry. My mum would kill me right now if she saw me riding on the road like this. <laughs> where I really, 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 really miss Australia. I can't believe I'm going in. Guys, three things. One, I have a bike, so adventures are going to be so much more easy now. Two, I've like mounted the GoPro onto the bike. I've never done this before, so... I don't know how the footage is going to be, but we're just going to go with it because we are adventuring, baby. Three. Wait, maybe let's make a four. Three, I am figuring out these brakes and I don't really know how to ride uphill without absolutely dying. Four, I'm sorry if you can see these wires. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> let's go adventuring. I've made it to Morden Hall Park. There's a river next to me, but I don't think that that's the River Wandor. Have I said yet where I'm going? We're going to the River Wandor. I'm pretty sure. Well, no, I don't actually. No, you know what? I'm not pretty sure. I know for a fact it doesn't matter. I can swim in the River Wandor because it's water. I can swim. No, also, I saw this really sick article about it, which I'll show you about people swimming in the River Wandor. Like it looks sick. So that's what I'm going to go and try and find now. Um, there's a river over there. I can't be bothered dismounting the GoPro because it's like an effort and a half to try and get it back on there But on the other side of those bushes, there's a river, but I'm not sure if it's the right river But Once I get to the start of the one tour I'm just gonna follow it until I find the most perfect wild swim spot. So let's get excited Let's go adventurers out there, baby See what we find Left or right, I don't know guys. Striking the wind up post now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You You gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You You will never regret the things that we'll do. We're really close, but I wanna show you this little river first. What do we think? This is the key to more adventure videos. Now, when I say my bike, I mean, I stole it from Connor, like everything else. <laughs> Look how cute this is. You know how I'm obsessed with bridges? I'm obsessed with this one. I thought that, that this might've been it, but it's not it because it's a lot bigger than this, the River Wandle apparently. But this is great. <sighs> Gotta go that way and keep riding. And we're like five minutes away, honestly. So oh, I like that little gate as well. So yeah, gonna keep going and then I'm just gonna follow the river. I'll let you know once we're there. We're very close. We're very, very close now. National Cycle Route 20. I don't think you understand how skinny my tires are. Oh my God. I just saw a camel, I swear to God. I swear to God, I just saw a camel or something. gosh look can you see through there you absolutely cannot see through there <laughs> you can't see anything well it wasn't a camel because that would be completely ridiculous in south england but well, south london <laughs> i don't think there's camels in south london okay i think it was a llama but uh, yeah you couldn't really see sorry <laughs> i tried guys i'm not dismounting the camera <laughs> but we found it I am holding my bike up vertically right now just to get this shot. It's easier than dismounting the camera and then putting it back on. Right, we found it, which means 
I'm just going to follow it along. I don't know how long it is, but I'm just going to follow it along until I see, until I don't see a private fishing sign because I can't be bothered dealing with that again. Um, or just somewhere, you know, secluded. All right. Oh, okay, turn left and then turn left. I got completely, completely lost for a second there, but we're back on track now. What I keep doing, I keep getting lost because I keep stop following my, keep stop following. I'm so lost, man. I recognise that this is not a good angle, but my thought process is when I'm editing, I can just sort of flip it around and then I'll be the right way up. Mate, I am very determined right now to find an appropriate place to swim. I've been riding for probably an hour and a bit. Granted, I've gotten lost at least five times. It's just different in London, obviously, I know that. But trying to find somewhere to swim in London versus up north is just so hard. <laughs> Surrounded by machines and buildings and a million other people. Look at that. There's buildings and air, like construction everywhere. Believe it or not, the river is right to my right right now. I mean, and what is that about? Traffic crossing bridge. I mean, I'm going to insert a picture of the blog I saw. This lady used to swim in the river Wandle all the time. And her pictures just don't look like where I'm at at the moment. So, I mean, my thought process is if I just keep following the river north, eventually it's going to get nicer. Maybe, like, maybe I'll get into some farmlands. But then also, I, I don't think I will because... Unless she was like south of where I'm located and I've just been riding in the wrong direction. You know what? I didn't even consider that until right now. I wonder if that's possible. Because if I ride north, I, like I'm, I'm riding to London right now. I'm riding to the River Thames right now. Huh. You know, I could be riding in the wrong, di wrong direction. I need to check because I don't know, to be honest with you. So I don't know where this lady swam in that vlog that I was talking about because when in her photos, right? It was like farmlands, it looked beautiful, there was nobody around, it was just perfect wild swimming situation. I have rode to a park. <laughs> I have rode like an hour and a half just to get to a park. I'm not even like near the river. And the whole time I was riding, it was just I mean, you saw it's just like construction and buildings and traffic. I think I forgot that I was in London. I think I'm just going to start riding back the way. If I come across anything, which I highly doubt, negative, um, I'm obviously going to stop and try and swim in it. But otherwise, I'm just going to ride home <laughs> and do what I should be doing, which is my assignments. The River Wandle, everybody. I would if there was loads of bushes right there. If there were loads of bushes right there. I would get in that water in a heartbeat, even though it seems like the tide is moving quite, okay, well, well I wouldn't say rapidly, but <laughs> I mean, it's moving. Very tempted. Very, very, very tempted. I'm trying to think, what's stopping me right now? One, the path. Two, it looks really deep and there's definitely a current. Hmm. What to do, what to do? For the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. I either get in now or I don't get in at all. The only thing that I'm worried about is the path. But other than that, I mean, I'm not worried about what's in the water. I'm not worried about 
any of those other things. I'm just worried about if people see me or not. I want to know. Fishing net. No, no more of this, I think. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it. When you step in, the ground completely dissolves underneath you because it's a mud, I guess. Oh, there's so many fish in there, I can see. I just want, I'm going to be happy if I just hold on to the ledge and fully submerge my body. If I just do that and then get out, I think I'll be happy and content. I'm still scared of doing this. Like, I don't know if you remember, but this is like a fear of mine. And even just then that like scared me, but I can't be scared. I'm going to go back. God, I'm not afraid at all. It smells really earthy. Like, at first I thought it smelled bad, but it doesn't. It just smells earthy. Guys, I did it. I can't believe. I can't believe we did it. I am in weeds right now. Let me show you. I did it guys, I f***ing swam in the river one day. yes, I f***ing knew I could do it, I'm so happy. Right. No, f*** it, you know what I said? My rule is, if you don't put your head under, it doesn't count, but my hair's red and I don't want to wash it out, but f*** it, I'm doing it, ready? not grateful. I can't believe I'm doing it. Yes! I did it guys. I did it. I need to get out before people think I'm crazy. <laughs> no, people. people. I'm sick of worrying what people think. If I want to swim in the river, I'm going to swim in the river. I feel so good. Yes. I feel so accomplished. I did that guys, I just did that. I am getting red hair dye literally everywhere. Guys, I don't know why I feel like I can't be loud right now. Because there's person there. All right, so if, I ha if someone asked me, can you swim in the river Wandle? Look, listen, I know that wasn't swimming, but oh, I'm so impressed with myself. That Doing that before would have freaked me out so much, but I'm not scared anymore, I don't think. I think I've like conquered my fear. I'm not scared anymore, which is nice. See how much happier I am after getting in the water? Like flashback to me an hour ago crying because I couldn't swim anywhere. Like, it's just, <sighs> my, my camera stand is broken, sorry. <laughs> you just, I just need the water, you know? I just need to swim. That was like 10 seconds in the water and I feel so good. Oh, I feel so good, so accomplished. Like today was completely worth it. If I had gone home without swimming, I wouldn't have been happy. Look how much dye is coming out. But guys, River Wandle, I, it was a mission. And I mean, maybe there are more private spots, but this is the most private spot I found. There is a path literally right there. Like someone just walked past me, which you saw. Well, I'll show you me just like getting nervous and freaking out. Um, but other than that, only two other guys walked past me. I mean, a lot of you might actually enjoy swimming. I enjoy swimming, but in situations like this, rivers like this, I'm happy just being able to dip in and out, you know? Um, the biggest barrier for me is other people at this moment in time. I'm not worried about what's in the water. I get worried about how people would perceive me, which is stupid and I should need to get over it. But that's probably the biggest thing for me right now is, I mean, if you look at that, 
unless you are an avid wild swimmer you're not gonna swim in that you're not gonna understand and which is most people and i just get nervous about how people perceive me which but the, who the fuck cares they fuck, i'm never gonna see anyone again they're strangers you know like fuck it whatever from now on i'm just gonna hi Hello. um keep practicing and trying not to be as scared as i used to be so also just not gonna worry about what other people think like did you see that i just fucking said hello to someone and i'm in a bikini well kind of i'm in my shorts anyway guys i'm really happy that was fun that's what adventuring is about do not give up on your adventure that's what adventuring is all about guys i feel so fresh now our new adventure partner has treated me well today that's it thank you so much for watching get ready for more adventures i'm so happy yeah anyway Remember to like and subscribe if you want to guys. This is this is what the channel's gonna be from now on, just adventures, because that's what I love doing, look how happy it makes me. Um, so yeah, if you want to subscribe, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching as always. It means a lot to me. I hope that you're all having a lovely day, night, whatever time it is for you right now. Uh, and I will see you guys for the next adventure. Literally for the next adventure now, because that is what we do now. Oh, thank you, River Wandle. Goodbye. Hey, darling, we could get out of time.